Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back and happy National Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day as we're about to dive into the mid-season finale of season three. There's still no date set in stone at all as to when we may be able to get the second half of this. Right now it's slated for some time in 2024, but that is, you know, kind of remains to be seen for now. But we have a lot of crazy buildup. The last episode was bonkers. Banana sauce. Loved it. It was so zany, but had all the same elements that we know and love, man. But I, I'm excited to see where it goes, man. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't know what, what we're building up towards. Obviously, some kind of massacre at the White House where he's got like a, a quota he's got to fill. And I think, uh, if I remember right, if I keep it counting, he's like halfway to his quota. I don't know, man. There's this and then four more episodes after it. So I don't even know <laughs> where it goes after that. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm very curious to see how the season continues to evolve. But guys, let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you're on Marvel's channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes of a reaction the entire episode. Over there, you also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, try to make it worth your while since you're going to support support the channel. But guys, I'd really appreciate it if you enjoy this reaction to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already because it really does help out these videos. And with that all said and out of the way, Let's hop into episode four of Chucky. Here we go. October 31st. It is Halloween day. Halloween was always Joseph's favorite holiday. So tonight, the first family is throwing a costume ball. Canceling would come across as anxious and that's not an image you want to project. What if someone else dies? This guy is so manipulative. Inside, we're gonna have every inch of the party covered. To find covered? Covered discreetly by Secret Service. Indiscreetly by camera. Covered covertly by SWAT team surveillance. My children's lives are in Yet he's hands. already in here. I like the way you say that. The hell? We'll be ready for him. No, you won't. <laughs> Or at least you're not going to be ready for what? Wow. Wow. Mm. I miss him too. But we don't have to miss him, Daddy. It's right there. Yeah, we need to get this kid some help. Not all right. This costume from last year. He just doesn't want anyone to see his face. Why not? Thinks he looks old. <laughs> the Chucky of the Opera is here. They're gonna be coming for me, and I'm gonna be ready for them. Who's coming for you, Joseph? Who's <laughs> Tom Baba? What happened to your voice? It's an allergic reaction. I had the questions. <laughs> Go tell Dad we want to carve a pumpkin. And I'm gonna need a really big knife. <laughs> uh, uh, that smile. Oh, Tiffany. I'm not guiding you. I'm not escorting you. I am conducting you. Is that clear? Like a maestro with her prima donna. No, like a stick handler with a pit viper. Mm. Now follow me. <laughs> this music is going hard right now. Of course, we knew your presence would be disruptive, so we're keeping you with the special population. Oh, that sounds perfect. Oh, you're not at all what she expects. You're going to be spending your final days here on Earth mostly with me. Well, I guess that means you're going to be my. Well, never mind. I tend to grow on people. Like a fungus. Where are my legally mandated religious items, which I believe... Mm. Sometimes they do get lost in transit, though. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Hey, where are your costumes? What are you? These are our costumes. Where are you? What are you supposed to be? Kennedy's K and Jackie. <laughs> but you look like how you always look. <laughs> oh, <that's different. laughs> okay. Uh, fair. Oh, the nanny's here. Thank mm. you. You. Oh no. And you are 
Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. God I'm damn it, sorry. people. Where is Susan? Oh, she's like the person. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Henry. It's Satan's holiday. Mm. It's a pagan ritual, actually, so don't you worry. Satan has no power over us tonight. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. What I believe is that when people die, their their energy, their their essence stays behind. What she means mm. to say, Henry, is <laughs> no. I think you want to see it carving. I'll be doing the carving tonight. Mm. Uh oh. Nah, madam, you you will be carved yourself. Do you think Dolly Madison's gonna get us? What? You're not too smart, are you? Mm. But I love that about you. <laughs> I love that you're kind of dumb. Your organizational skills are an inspiration. I've applied it a lot to my own work. I was an actress. As a murderess. <laughs> Try to hide a corpse five minutes before serving hors d'oeuvres to 20 dinner guests. <laughs> Don't get me. Oh my God. I read your book and it increased my efficiency by 50%. Oh, I just love hearing that. Thank you. <laughs> so, what um, is this? What, what are you in for, Evelyn? Oh, um, when I caught my husband and my assistant having an affair, I baked them both into a shepherd's pie. Oh, good for you. I call it souffle. Mm. My editor didn't like it for a book title, though. Uh, apparently, it won't go in airports, the kiosks. I can't say. Yeah. So. Maybe it's souffle. People don't like a French word. <laughs> That's it. That's what it is. You know, I've always been your fan too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Ever since the big chill. That that was my sister, Meg Tilly. Oh, the dead one. Mm. I killed her. You killed your own sister. Well. A sister. She meant the world to me. Evelyn, she's not. She's not actually my sister. See, I'm not really Jennifer Tilly. You're disgusting. Oh my God. When you get that needle, I'm gonna be cheering. What? Well, this turned around. Alrighty then. Huh. Uh oh. The title card this week was uh voodoo dolls. So might get a little. Stabbing. <laughs> Are you f kidding me? That is perfect. That's too much for me. Jake's out here looking like magic, Chuck. What's going on here? What? Hey! Oh, Next. Mm. Whoa, easy, yeah, boy. Okay. okay. I'm gonna have to take that. Seriously? Yeah. They're built into their costume. Weapons are not working out right now. Have fun. What? What was he? What? What's he got? As long as we get Chucky on camera doing his thing, we can get it out there. Are people even gonna believe us? It's called the deep fake. Let us There's the special effects. Dark Knight Joker Area. mask. We need to get upstairs to the residence. There's Jesus back there. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty, uh, nice little setup. Decorum. Love your outfits. Our son Henry loves good guys, too. Thank you. Mine's the best, though, right? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, and Chucky even put on the wig, too. To match Joseph even more. Ooh, ooh. You know, not knowing what's going on, that would be really creepy, dude. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Even did up his lips and everything. It's a nice costume you have there. Yeah, dude. Real creepy. Does he have like a fake upper like jaw mask to cover his own? Is there any way that they could see the residents? You thought the invite protocol was hard? I mean, I'd love to see your room. Mm. Mm. I kind of feel bad 
that he's being played a little bit. Mm. You know, they were talking about energies. What if what the president was seeing was actually Joseph? Because he's not, he doesn't have the wig here. Like Joseph's spirit trying to like give them a warning. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have the wig and he doesn't have the weird different mouth. People are uncomfortable with the supernatural. Henry, have you seen something in this house? <laughs> because I have. You have? I've seen Andrew Jackson in the red room. Mouth like a sailor, by the way. <laughs> mostly they're just bored and sometimes they just want to play. Like hide and seek? <laughs> That's a great idea. We should play. Uh-oh. I'll be it. One. Oh, yeah, no. She ain't gonna find you, buddy. She's about to get... Ready or not, here I come! Or not. But she did leave the knife there. Oh, never mind. He's already gone. These people can't feel shit. Okay. <laughs> We're doing this? Oh, yeah, do something. Maybe he'll actually charm her. I don't know. More of a blue oyster cult fan. Blue oyster mm. cult, okay? Yeah. She's got layers. Yeah. This is my favorite song. Of fucking Daddy's course. <laughs> We're both in some weird knows how much life can suck club. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. Those are the kids at school, they just don't get it. You know, it's weird, but I, I kind of envy them in a way. No. But I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, it's Halloween. We came here for a good time, so. So, uh, should we get Jake or? Oh. <laughs> yeah. This way. Jake is just strutting around here, just like, yeah, I got jacked this season. <laughs> Like, just the way he carries himself, man. Maybe that's the... I don't know, man. I'm not that jacked. So maybe that's just how your arms are always stuck when you get so meaty. Uh, yes. Great. And the dolls. Pantry to plate in just yep. 20 minutes. That's the beauty of this one pan pasta. Uh. With your basil, you can move on to your oregano. Uh. 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 How is she this accurate with that stubby ass doll? She know the orientation of the stuff that's in their room and she's not in. But <laughs> oh, why is the guard doing nothing? Jesus. Oh no. Ew. Ooh. Fire that guard! <laughs> what the f Right now, I just need to find your brother, okay? And his doll. What? Grant! Mm. This part isn't scary at all. Yeah! Uh-oh. I knew it. You just used me to get inside. Just like everyone else. Joseph, mm. huh? Uh-oh. What the? All of them. Oh no. She's 
she's such a random i know they've been playing with the whole ghost thing the entire thing but like such a random addition right now Oh, <laughs> whoo, whoo. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, she's fine. She can't be. What even? Wait, hold on. What even just happened there? How did only her face peel off? <laughs> I like to be hugged. I'm so confused about that. That was also, honestly, I think the worst effect this season so far. What's for dessert? Uh. Oh no! Now you gave her another. God damn it! Let's put this in that. Big mouth of yours. I know I shouldn't overthink magic all that often, but I I just can't help it sometimes, man. Now, what I need from you is to get a single personal item from each one of these cards. And oh no! Me, and then y'all can just waltz me right out of here. Mm. Wow. Well, that's he's definitely over quota now. Given you thirteen sacrifices, seven more than you've asked for. I beseech you, lift this curse. Ade do we dembela. Uh oh. Uh oh. That worked. I love how it looks just as shitty <laughs> as it did in like the old movies, man. Did it work? It'd be hilarious if it was worse. Wow. <laughs> Why have you forsaken me? Wow. What's wrong? Are you sick again? All right, well, there it is, man. That's our mid-season finale. All of that, all that buildup, and it didn't work. Cast out yet again. It's like when you're just begging and begging an ex to bring you back, and they're like, it doesn't matter how many flowers you send my way, just sent that shit diced up right back to them. Ah, oh, man, that was good. That was a good little twist there. I like that. I threw that out as a joke. I thought that was going to be like, all right, he's rejuvenated. Now he doesn't need to hide as much anymore. Now he's out and around. But yeah, I do have a question though. We did have that weird ass Mary Poppins character coming out of nowhere, being like all obsessed with the supernatural to kind of, kind of poke and prod at the whole like played with concept throughout the episode that that White House is haunted you know, the ghosts and stuff. And it's like a val it's a actual claim that is out there, you know, but like, it's kind of interesting how that came around in a way, but it just, it seems so unnatural. Her seeing the ghosts in the ballroom, which is like, I see them, they're all here. And then, then she gets to, I wonder if it played into it because she was also about to taste death herself. Is that why she could see the spirits? But then it begs, begs the question though, it does raise some more questions about that because there was that other Joseph that was showing up that the president was chasing around. Was that actually a spirit? Was that actually Joseph's spirit trying to like warn him in some way? Or maybe he's been around and maybe they just can't see. That'd be an interesting thing to do because they never ever, any of the times we saw Chucky himself dabbled with him having a different mouth, having a different uh, wig to put over his at all. Every time we cut to him, it was always normal Chucky face, normal Chucky hair. But in those sequences, black hair and a completely different mouth and jaw than he's had. So 
My guess is it's actually Joseph's spirits with all this talk of spirits and all that stuff. And it's just obviously in this world, those exist to some extent because that's how Chucky's able to do what he does. And then we have Tiffany get, she got her book and she got her revenge. That Martha Stewart figure who is on death row right there with her. And I like how she's like, she draws her line as, as killing a sister. But at the end of the day, like, it's again, but people just don't understand because of the voodoo aspect of it that she's a completely different person. So it, technically she didn't kill her sister. She killed Jennifer's sister, but she was Jennifer. But you nobody know, believes that. And it's always funny to me when she's trying to explain it and everybody just thinks she's crazier than she actually is. And then these little ways where she got exactly what she needed for her voodoo dolls to work. And that was a gnarly sequence, man. The potato peeler, whoo, to the fingers. That one, I didn't like that one. I mean, it was a good one, but that one just makes my skin crawl. Peel, if you will. And then the son, uh, the older son, once he realized that the only reason they were there was for something other than him, and when she just immediately bailed on him, uh, when they were really just getting into the heat of the moment. I don't even remember this a scene where she made off. It cut, and she just was already running away. Did I miss it? I don't think I did. I'll check back in the edit, but I'm pretty sure I didn't miss that. I'm pretty sure we just cut away from it. It was a really weird episode, but there was some gnarly stuff in it, though. But I do think they, they, they burned their budget, I guess, when, for some reason, Mary Poppins' face just came off. Everybody else was just like gored, mangled, impaled with uh, stuff from the shards of the chandelier. But how in the world did only, she got up just fine. And then her, her just perfectly, her face peeled off. How the hell did that happen? It looked awful. That was one of the first effects I think this season that I thought looked really bad. The boiled face of the prisoner was also a little whatever, but it's a boiled face. I don't know what that looks like, really, and I was fine enough with that. But, like, that was, like, that was the hokiest effect, though. Everything else, though, was pretty gnarly. But, again, it's just, it's slap, leaning into that slapstickiness of Chucky. Like, the later stuff, man, even harder. It took a turn, man. Like, it almost feel like we were kind of setting back the clock a little bit in some of the earlier episodes. And then, once episode three happened, it was, like, threw us right back into Bride of Chucky. But... I had fun with the episode, man. I mean, it had some logistical issues, some uh, logical issues, but I can't say it wasn't fun. I don't know where it goes from here, man. I don't know how they don't get kicked out of this party after everything. I don't know what the setup is. How are we going to drag this out for four more episodes with Chucky con just continuing to die? And how's the Tiffany storyline going to connect at all which w with what is happening on the in another time zone. I have no idea. It's an interesting place to leave us, guys. So I wanna know what you all thought. How do you feel about this? What are your thoughts on how this is gonna go? Which kill has been your favorite so far? I gotta go with the Keenan Thompson umbrella thing because it was just absurd, but in un just a fantastic way. <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna call it here. I don't really have too much else to add in this one. It definitely sets a different dynamic with a deteriorating Chucky, but We'll see what happens next, guys. So I'm going to pass it off to you all. So sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you come to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Andy Sherr, Ryan Karen, York Corscom, Margaret Grace, Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hell, Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Amy Becca, and Casey Wood. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys, and I hope to see you once the season returns sometime next year. But until then, happy Halloween, have a safe holiday, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.